always wanted to be a lawyer. In, in fact, if you believe in predestination, it was something which was inevitable. I was named after an outstanding attorney at law, the late, great, and honorable Ian MacDonald Ramsey. My mother wanted me to be an attorney at law, particularly Miss Inez Ricketts of blessed memory. And as a youngster, I used to read voraciously, especially Perenet's novels. So it seemed as if the stars um, had been aligned for some time and that this was to be my calling. It is my humble and respectful view, my opinion, that each attorney at law has a duty to contribute to his community, his alma mater, his country, the legal profession. Each attorney at law has a duty to mentor younger lawyers. Successive generations are going to be those who carry the mantle, those who carry the fight forward for the future, those who will develop the legal profession and defend your constitution and your society. So we have a duty to help those younger practitioners. We have a duty not to be jealous with our knowledge. Knowledge must be imparted, it must be shared. We have a duty to impart what we have learned um, so that the profession will develop, as the Latin purists would say, in secular secularum, forever and ever. The Norman Manley Law School has played an integral, a seminal role in my personal development. That must be said without any hesitation. First thing first, take the name Norman Manley. This institution, this crucible of erudition, was named in honor of the right excellent Norman Washington Manley, one of Jamaica's national heroes, one of Jamaica's founding fathers. That in and of itself is motivation for me. And I had great teachers who contributed to my personal development. Judges of the caliber of the late Justice Rowe, Ira Rowe, former president of the Court of Appeal of Jamaica. Sir Justice Boyd Carey, Sir Justice U.D. Gordon, Honorable Lee Groff Robinson, there are so many who could be named, Sir Justice Algernon Smith. We had teachers of the caliber of uh, Mr. C.B. Dennis Morrison, later to be Queen's Counsel. The cool cat who looked at if he had ice in his pockets, Mr. Cool. We had Mr. Peter Carson, one of the legends. The outstanding Miss Dorcas White, whose hat I tried to borrow on one particular occasion, but was not successful. I usually say, and it is not an original statement, all you really have are your reputation and your memories. The Norman Manley Law School has given to me a treasure trove of memories. So firstly, my classmates. When you think of the great Samuel Bulgin, King's Counsel, currently the Attorney General of the Cayman Islands, um, people like Mr. Justice Frank Williams, Judge of Appeal in Jamaica, Mr. Alexander Williams, um, who is currently the President of the Bar Association of Jamaica, Mr. Sandra Minor Phillips King's Counsel, Mr. Andre Earl King's Counsel, Mr. Judith Pusey, Justice Judith Pusey. We have so many, I'm sorry I can't call everyone. Um, the current leader of the opposition, Mr. Mark Golding, who tried to shatter me in the witness box during a moot at the law school, and he failed miserably. When you remember, there are such great memories participating at Sports Day. Various sports day running against members of the staff. Mr. Roper, our great principal, who, can I, who, who used to lecture convincing and would tell us about the contract. You know, when you remember um, the bun eating contests where when the, 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 the official said go, all we heard was mm, and somebody had already swallowed an entire bun and won. When you remember the various silk concerts performing as actor, DJ, singer, a jealous father, an upset farmer with my machete in hand because my little girl um, apparently was pregnant. I, when I remember all of these things, they are great memories. Dr. Royston Clifford would be talking about post-mortems and eating sandwiches at the same time and laughing, you know. When I remember becoming, upon being reincarnated in my other life, I became a a, a an associate tutor and a course director for what was then the law of succession which morphed into probate practice and procedure. They used to, the students used to tease me that I brought a dead subject to life. I remember Brian Wallace from future senator, um, future JLP senator. 
and Samuel Bulgin teaching me to drive um, while I was a student before I started to take formal lessons. And, and there's a very interesting incident which is quite funny because at a party and, and parties used to be kept at the dip with Bahamian students, Clement Bird and his backgammon game, Paul Wallace Whitfield from the Bahamas among others. And there's one particular incident where a, a practitioner who shall not be named was launching a savage attack on a plate of curry chicken and rice. And when the smoke had cleared, um, nothing was left to be seen except his dentures which had fallen out, <laughs> but I will not name that person. The memories are too many, but the Norman Manny Law School, glorious institution.